Hi, I'm Nate Savage and welcome to the Rhythm Guitar Quick Start Series. Playing rhythm guitar is a really essential skill to have, whether you just want to learn your favorite songs, you want to play with your friends and jam with them, or whether you want to play live music, it's a really important skill to have. So whether you're brand new to rhythm guitar or you've been playing for a while and you just want to get to that next level, this series is for you. I know there are a lot of things to consider in rhythm guitar and sometimes it can feel overwhelming. And that's why I created this series. I want to give you the most fundamental things that you're going to need to lay a solid foundation for your rhythm guitar playing. Being a good rhythm guitarist is something that it takes time and practice to develop, but it's really important. And unfortunately, a lot of newer players tend to focus just on practicing lead guitar when the reality of it is that probably 80% if you're playing live or with your, with your friends, 80% of what you're going to be playing is rhythm guitar based and not leads. With that in mind, being a good, solid rhythm guitarist can really set you apart from the crowd. If your rhythm guitar playing is solid, people are gonna enjoy playing with you and they're gonna enjoy listening to you and you're gonna be the one that gets the gig. So the goal of this series is to give you a solid foundation and the key things that you're gonna to need to know as a rhythm guitarist. By the end of it, you're gonna be able to play live if that's your goal better. You're gonna be able to play with your friends and learn songs better too. And just so you know, it doesn't matter if you have an acoustic or electric guitar for this series, all the things that I'm gonna teach you in here are equally important to both. Now, we're not gonna to focus too much on theory throughout the series. This is a quick start series, right? So I want you to focus on getting your hands on the guitar and playing the most important things for you as a rhythm guitar player. We're gonna go over power chords, bar chords, open chords, the most important chord progressions you're gonna to need to know as a musician. And then we're gonna switch our focus to your strumming hand. You're gonna learn some of the most common strumming patterns that you need to know as well as work on your timing. The first thing that we're gonna go over is power chords. We're gonna learn some shapes for your power chords and how to move them all around the neck. And then we're gonna move on to bar chords. I know bar chords are a source of frustration for a lot of new, newer players. So I'm gonna give you some tips to make your bar chords sound great. Now as a rhythm guitarist, it's important for you to know all of your open chords. So I'm gonna teach you the most essential open chords that you're gonna need in your little chord library. Once we get these essential chord shapes down, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna go over some of the most important strumming patterns for you to know. These strumming patterns that I'm gonna teach you are kinda of like the building blocks or the fundamentals for a lot of more advanced strumming patterns. So these are gonna be really important for you to get down. After that, we're gonna start working on developing your timing. That's one of the most critical aspects of rhythm guitar that's often ignored. The cool thing about working on your timing is you don't have to have your guitar with you. You can be anywhere. You can be in your car driving, listening to the radio, in a waiting room, doesn't matter. And finally, once we get your timing in order, I'm gonna show you how to kind of embellish your strumming through single bass notes and muted strums. These are two little aspects of strumming that can really dress up an otherwise mundane strumming pattern. I always think that applying everything that you're working on on the guitar to real music is really important to helping you get better and grow as a musician. So, Throughout this series, I've supplied you with a couple of jam tracks that you can use to work on the stuff that we're going over. It's just a little more fun than using a metronome. So get ready for some really rewarding things to work on. If you apply yourself and work on this stuff, you're going to see a dramatic improvement in your rhythm guitar playing. Thanks for watching. In the next lesson, we're going to go over some basic power chords. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them here in the comments. I'll get back to you there. Or you can email me, nate at guitarsystem.com. See ya.